What's up guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio and today I'm going to show you guys how to use the bloom effect in OpenTunes 1.5. Feels like it's been a little while since I've done a classic OpenTunes tutorial, so let's get started. So I'm just gonna introduce to you the layers that I have here. I have the background layer, which is that dark blue value in the background. We have Pi just above that. We have Pi's highlights, the crystal that he's looking at, this sort of glowing rock. Then we have the foreground that has the rock encasing the crystal and then some other elements just to add some depth. Altogether, the shot looks just like this, and when you render it, it looks like this. I just added a little bit of um, color blending between some of Pi's colors. I'll teach you guys how to do that in another tutorial. I think it makes the whole shot look really, really nice, though. It has a nice diffused effect. So I'm going to be adding bloom to this rock and maybe some of Pi's highlights to show you guys how to use the effect. So let's get started. Hover over to the Animation tab to get the Effect Schematic. I have an Effect Schematic in my custom room but I'm just gonna hover over here because most of you guys probably won't have a custom room. All right, so let's start with this glowing rock. Coming over to the layer that says crystal, we're gonna right click, insert effect, light. At the bottom, you should see bloom IWA. Let's add that. Let's turn on the preview to see what it looks like. So as you can see, we have some of the glow effect here, but we have this huge black box. Let's double click on the effect to fix that. Hit alpha rendering to get rid of this black box. And there we go, we just have a glow effect. So the first parameter you'll see in the bloom effect is gamma. And this is sort of how far you want the, your bloom to spread. As you can see, as I put it down, then the effect sort of wraps around the crystal. But when I bring it up, it spreads out a little more. So I want this to spread out quite a bit. It's not the same thing as size. Size will sort of control this whole glowing effect, but it's sort of similar. Now the gain is the brightness of the bloom effect. Now I can put this down if I want it a little less bright. That looks pretty cool. Or I can put it all the way up if I want it to really, really glow. So you can play with these. You can make the rock really, really bright and then the area really small to get this very interesting, get some very interesting effects. But I'm gonna, I want the viewer to be able to somewhat see the rock. I'm gonna make sort of the veins in it visible, but glowing. Just so you know, the gamma and the gain affect each other. As you can see, if I put the gamma down, the crystal will look brighter, but if you want it to look darker, you have to put the gain down. So these two effects kind of go hand in hand. I'm gonna keep messing around with these until I find something that I like. All right, that looks good for now. Now we can mess around with the size. And this is pretty self-explanatory. It'll just increase, you know, the size of the bloom effect, how far it goes out. All right, so I'm gonna choose a size that I like. That looks pretty cool. And we'll stop there. That's basically how you use the bloom effect. Look, I wanna level up my process. Test my metal against my will to focus. Go to Domestica, you can get the courses. The link below gets you in the motion. Yeah, I wanna be a better artist. Glaze my work with stardust like it's a varnish. Go to Domestica, you can get the knowledge. Wide range of topics you can start with. Everything's affordable and portable. Log in at the library or the booth or the school. When you wanna go on your own, got your phone with you. Make the most of the moment it goes with you. It don't matter when you study, everybody's got a different temperament, so don't be judging. Yo, be quick to master your next class with Domestica. Now, just for this crystal, I'm going to add some extra effects to really bring it out. I'm going to add, going to go to distort, barrel distort, and I'm going to add some chromatic aberration to make it look like it's really, really glowing. There we go. As you can see, there's some blue and green showing up now. All right, that looks pretty cool. And what you'll notice is that the bloom effect is actually very similar to the glow effect. So if I go to the light layer, which has the light that's on Pi, I'm going to add a glow. While the effects are very similar, they're definitely not the same. But really, you can experiment around and use them for whatever you want. Now I'm going to show you what it's like to put bloom on a character. So since this environment's so dark, our character would be glowing a little bit. If you play video games, you'll find that that happens a lot when you're in a dark area and there's one light source shining on a character that they start to glow a little bit. So let's go to Pi and it's after both of these color blending nodes, I'm gonna go insert effect, light, and then bloom. Let's double click that. Enable alpha rendering, nice. 
So now we can play around with this to see where we want it as well. So that's how it looks on a character. I don't really like the way the bloom looks on when you put it on a character because it sort of blurs out the lines. I like the character's line art to be sharp. And so what I did is that I tried to put a palette filter over it and just and set it to one, which is the lines. But it seems like the bloom still sort of creeps in anyway. So I'm gonna get rid of that and get rid of the bloom on Pi. Personally, I like to use the glow effect on characters since it just looks a little bit nicer. But then again, it does depend on the situation. Set this down a bit, maybe to 50. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go back to my custom room and go to my foreground. So I put the encasing of the crystal and this sort of dark blue stalactite cave, some of these cave forms on the same layer and I really should have um, put them on different layers. So I'm just gonna do that now. I'm gonna go to freehand, select these, gonna hit cut. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a new layer under the crystal and hit paste. So now when we render it, the glow is over the, this, these sections, which looks a lot better. That's basically it, guys. That's the bloom effect and also the some of the glow effect. Definitely play around with both. One thing I didn't do is I didn't try the bloom effect on the light layer of Pi. We only tried the glow effect. So let's just see how that looks really quickly. That looks pretty interesting. So I definitely encourage you guys to experiment with OpenTunes effects on your own time. You can get some seriously cool results. For example, one of my favorites is chromatic aberration. You just go to insert effect, barrel distort, and just turn it up to your desire. So you got these this RGB separation towards Pi's head and his feet. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit, make it a little more subtle. Looks pretty cool. Another effect I'm gonna put on the entire composition is the posterize effect. Insert effects on the X sheet. Let's see if this works. Stylize, posterize. <laughs> Whoa, right? Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Let's turn it down a bit turn it up all the way. Yeah, it's probably best used individually. I'm gonna see what happens if I use it on Pi. So definitely don't add it after any <laughs> glow or maybe distortion. It'll make it look weird. Let's do stylize, posterize, maybe try before the glow. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Right, we can put it down to get a really neat effect. <laughs> that looks so cool. I really like the way it bends the colors. Let me put it at the lowest it can be. Interesting. In the highest. Kind of gives it like an old video game or a cartoon effect. That looks really, really cool. That's about where I want it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something. If you want to support the channel, my tutorials and my film Castle Dark that's coming out, follow the link in the description to my Patreon page. If you like this tutorial, leave me a like. It really helps this tutorial get out to more people. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.